done. I've already started this hairstyle just by parting out kind of a triangle here in the front. So I've left out both of these pieces on the side and then I've brought all of the rest of the hair back into a low ponytail. And her hair is wet here and I'm actually going to add even a little bit more water so that we don't have flyaways. So to begin this hairstyle, you just want to grab one of the side sections and leave the other one down for now. It really doesn't matter which side you start on. And then you're going to split that section into three even strands and just start braiding a regular three strand braid. So braid it down just a couple of times. And then from here on out, every time you're going to cross this strand that's from the middle of her head, the one that's on the right, before you cross it over the middle, you're just going to take out a small piece of hair from that strand. You don't want to take like half of it, you just want a very small section so that you don't run out of hair halfway down the braid. But take that out and then just cross it over normally like you would with the regular braid. And then here I am again on this side, I'm going to remove another small piece. Braid it in regularly. On this side, you don't need to do anything different. Just braid like you normally would. So you don't need to braid this all the way down if you're working with pretty long hair. You just want to bring the braid down long enough that you can reach it to that ponytail holder and then you can tie this side off for now. So after you finish this braid on the one side, now you're going to be working with the hair that you left out on the other side. And same thing, in the beginning you're just going to split this into three strands and begin braiding. And instead of taking hair away from these strands this time, you're going to be adding hair into them. And I'm wanting this to be a diagonal pattern and so I'm braiding this side down a little bit further than I did the first side. So I've braided down about an inch and then I'm going to start bringing in these strands from the other side. You want to start with the one at the very top of the braid that you left out and just cross it right over and add it into the strand as you're braiding. So every time you bring in the strand from the left and cross it over to the middle you're going to add in a little piece of hair from the other side. And you want to pull it kind of tight so that it doesn't sag. So I'm crossing in from the left. I'm adding a strand in. It's kind of like a French braid. I'm not adding anything to the right side. So if you want these strands to go straight across her head, you would want to start bringing them in from the very top the same way you took them out on this side. But since we're going diagonal, I left a little bit of a regular braid at the top. You may need to add some gel to these strands if you have a lot of flyaways or layers that you're working with. Her hair is pretty smooth when it's wet, so I'm just kind of using the water to smooth it down. You want to just keep going until you run out of the strands from the other side. That was the last one there. I'm just going to braid this down a little bit further so it doesn't come unraveled while I'm adding it to the ponytail. So you can just add this right in. The way I'm going to do this is just bring these braids around to the back. And then I'm going to add a clear elastic just to wrap around the whole ponytail. So at this point, the style could be done. You could add some curls to this ponytail if you would like. And if you don't like this elastic showing, you can take a small piece of hair from the ponytail, wrap it around the top, and then secure that either with a bobby pin or another elastic underneath. We are just going to add a bow to that.